Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy again. I thought I'd let you in on a new application that's been added to your Google suite of products and that is Hangouts Chat. Now there's going to be some switch over here going with the new Gmail interface. This is one of those things that may get actively engaged with your account not quite sure yet hasn't been announced yet but I wanted to introduce you to it just in case your organization may already have this in place to use which I know I've been notified that there are a few of you that are going to be using this now before we get going with showing you what this is if you have the old hangouts enabled it will do a crossover meaning if you do a chat in this hangouts chat it will also engage your Hangouts application that you had enabled before. I know it sounds a little confusing, but if you start using this, you'll get exactly what I'm talking about. Now, let's go ahead and jump in here. So, welcome to the new new Hangouts chat. You can activate this or get access to it by typing in your URL bar, chat.google.com. And you can also get the mobile device piece if you go to get, as in G-E-T, dot google dot com slash chat and you can get that there so when you come to this it's going to give you the welcome screen and we can go through this of welcome to we'll go through our next couple of options and we'll go get started it's going to ask you do you want to do notifications and those will push notifications we'll go through your browser whether you've got this tab enabled or not and we can say yes or no and we'll just say allow and it's going to come into your Hangouts chat interface. So starting off in this page, you'll see that we can just show you around and then we'll get into working with it. Now, you'll notice that on my screen already there it says trainer to account and that was my last chat that I had with someone. I can go to the upper left and click on find people, rooms, bots. And you'll see that I have some options here of finding a specific person for my frequent area down in the lower left. I could type in a name up at the top and find someone that way. And then I can start a group message or a team type of messaging. Message a bot, which we'll explain in just a little bit. Create a room, which is another thing we'll get to, and that's like creating your own little sub area of Google Chat that we'll talk about. And then you've got browse rooms. So once you create a room like our training team, it's not just going to go away every single time. So you don't have to recreate it each time that you want to jump into it. Going to the upper right corner of our screen, you'll see that we have the option to search our chat and search for people or different things that are a part of. Also in the upper right corner there, you have your gear icon and you can change your notification settings that we've already enabled. You can download additional apps if that's turned on for your domain, and you can get help. There's also an option in that upper right to also submit some feedback, so feel free to do that. And sometimes Google will listen to things that you have to offer in terms of feedback on how the application works. Down at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see your chat that you've had with somebody. You can hover over a chat, and you can see to the right side of it. You can delete it or you can edit it and we'll show you that in just a little bit. There is history where you can toggle on and off your history, meaning saving that chat. We can upload a file to be used with our chat. We can access something from Google Drive. We can start a video call with this contact and we can even add those little emojis. Then there's the send button or you can just hit enter. So let's get into showing you the basics in terms of just simple chat with a single person. So I'm going to click inside of here and I can see that I've got my trainer to person already online that I've had a chat with. So I'm going to go to the left and I can click on that and it will pull that person up. I can see when my last chat was with that person. If you hover over that person's name, we can star something as a favorite, turn on notifications just for this person, or we could hide that person from the list. Now being that I've already got this contact in the main screen of my area, I'm just going to go down to the bottom of my screen here and we're going to type a message. And it's going to send that off to someone. And you'll see a little blue tag just above that says new. Now just to show you what the other person is going to see, I'm going to drag my other frame in here. If they've never been on Hangouts chat before, you'll see it opens it up in the old 
Hangouts or in the Google Hangouts application. And then you'll also see that there is a welcome to chat email up at the top here that they may receive so that they can try that. So you may receive this from someone if you are not on chat already as well. Now also, once we get out of this, if someone does get a chat and you've got your little alarm bell up in the upper right, you may see that glow at you that you've got a new incoming message. So that is how you're going to use the chat feature and it's very similar to the text chat that you're used to doing in Google Hangouts. You can chat back and forth. Now let's get into showing you some of the other cool tools that you have with this program. We're going to click in that upper left and we're going to start a group message. So now I can add multiple people. So let's say I want to do Fred, Trainer2, and Jennifer. And I can start a group message. Kind of like you have your group messages within your Hangouts. Now if we don't want to do something like that, let's just eliminate that. I'm going to go back to my upper left there. And we can create a room. So let's say we're going to do this as the training room and create. And like I said, this is kind of like inviting a bunch of people to a specific room chat and then people from there on out can join whenever they want to. So we can add some people. And let's say we want to add our trainer too. And we want to add Jennifer and Fred. And then I can send that off. And now people would get an email letting them know that I have invited them to that room chat. Just to show you what that email looks like. Let me just drag my screen in once again. So this is the email that they would get, this top one, that they've been added to that chat room. So now they can open that up in Hangouts Chat and jump right into that group conversation there. And those rooms don't go away. So the nice part about that is that you can always have that available to jump in. So if we go back out here, we can go to our Browse Rooms in the upper left. And I can type in my name that I am looking for. So we're looking for that training room. And it will pull up all of those specific things that I'm looking for. In this case, I have in the upper left, there is my training room. And I've got that here. And I can start that new conversation just like I would in any other group chat type of atmosphere. Let's go back to that upper left. And let's show you message bots. So what are bots? A chatbot is a piece of software that conducts a conversation with users. Chatbots simulate how a human would behave as a conversational partner and can be used to provide customer service or deliver other informational services. Chatbots in Hangouts Chat can be configured as participants in a chat room or as entities that respond to direct messages. So just to kind of scroll through here at the bottom just to give you an idea. We can scroll through all of our different options here. And let's say, for example, we want updates on changes in Google Drive. So I can message. And you'll see it is coming back. Hi, TN Trainer. I can update you about new comments, access requests, files shared with you, and your storage. So it's actually interacting with me like another person. But it's actually an application, which is kind of cool. So you may want to kind of play with some of that just to show you how to interact with other options here. Let's say we want to go back to our frequent group here and let us go to our trainer too. And in the lower right hand corner, it's going to give me an option to upload a file. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to go from my training folder here and let's say we are going to upload our Star Wars timesheet, which is an Excel document. And now I am sharing that file with that person and they can click on this and access it. And now we can have a discussion over that. If you'd like to access a file from Google Drive, we'll click on that. We'll find our specific file that we want to discuss. And we'll just replace that. And now everybody in this room will be able to comment on that file. We can also start a video chat and we can add those wonderful things called emojis. So we can do our happy face if we'd like to add those on too. So one more thing I'd like to show you is the ability to edit a chat. 
So if I go to the top, I have my TN Trainer one that I did about 18 minutes ago or so. And if I hover over Hello, you'll see to the right side, it gives me an option to either trash or discard, or I can click on the pencil and I can edit this chat. So I'm going to do a quick, how are you today? And update. So to show you what's going to happen, You'll notice that in my other screen that I'm going to drag over here. So give me just a moment to drag that. In my chat box, it says a message was edited in Hangouts chat. View the updated message on. And I can click on that. But it takes me into the Hangouts chat interface and then wants to start that whole process over again. But at the very least, like I said, you will get the heads up message of this chat was edited. So you'll need to view that. So I just wanted to show you what that looked like in terms of being able to edit a chat. So if you need to go back and add something to it or modify it, you do have that ability with the new chat interface. So just dragging this back out and coming back in, you'll notice that on my screen it doesn't show anything other than the word edited in that chat. So it does let me know that that's edited. So that is what you're going to see if you try to edit one of your chats there too. And if you do want to discard something, you have that ability too. So we can go to that top one, click on the trash can. Do we permanently want to delete that? Absolutely. And there we go. So this is what we can do for editing your chats if you need to. So that in a nutshell is how you're going to interact and work with your Hangouts chat. And once again, you will not find an icon in your app's launcher for the most part. You're going to have to type in chat.google.com or if you've received a chat from someone via that, you may get that email that we showed you earlier. So I hope that helps you get started with your new Hangouts chat application in your Google Suite. Thanks everyone and have a great rest of your day. This is Gary the Google Guy signing off.